Coming up on this week's episode of Riptide, the Culinary Academy hosts their annual Thanksgiving luncheons. The Baby Bucks have their very own feast, and Troop 3637 celebrate Thanksgiving in their own special way. Hey South Dade, I'm Jarelli Sopora. And I'm Brianna Guzman. You're watching the 68th episode of Riptide. Last week, Wednesday and Thursday, the South Day Dancers held their annual fall dance show. Here's a recap. Sometimes it could be a hassle to figure out where you're going to take the Thanksgiving dinner. Kathy came up with some ideas to help make this holiday season easier.
Last week, the culinary students put on their annual Thanksgiving luncheon. Ivy, Soleil, and Carolina were there to get in on the feast. Ms. Rivera and her culinary students hosted their annual Thanksgiving luncheon where teachers and staff had the opportunity to get together and give thanks. Guests had the opportunity to enjoy a variety of choices from the delectable menu. We offered um, meatloaf, we offered turkey loaf, we offered vegetarian loaf, and we offered a gluten-free turkey loaf with the sides, the mac and cheese, the garlic green beans, the garlic green bean casserole. We offered um, cornbread, uh, pumpkin pie, pumpkin cream cheese muffin, and salad, of course. And mashed potatoes. Did I mention mashed potatoes? I enjoyed the food very much. It was delicious. Everything was delicious. The turkey loaf, I wasn't quite sure I would have liked the loaf, but it was the best loaf I've ever had. And the macaroni cheese was delicious. The cornbread, the desserts, it was all really good. It was, it was difficult. It was easy because I don't know how to read the recipes. And our teacher showed us a demo before we did the recipes. It gives us a chance of being together and being grateful and thankful as a faculty. Reporting for Riptide, I'm Sulay Martinez. Happy Thanksgiving! The drama students had troops giving to enjoy night of bonding before a stressful day of competition. Bella and Hilda captured the night. It's a really great time for all of us to get together and not only have great food, but to be able to just spend some quality time together. And it's a really great bonding experience. And um, we get to perform our IE pieces for competition to help prepare us and things like that. It's really great. Troops giving to the troop is giving thanks to each other giving thanks for us being there for each other, the support that we give each other during these shows and during everything really, especially since competition is tomorrow, we need it. So I think Troops Giving is really just remembering who we are and who we are to each other and giving thanks for having a family this great. Troops Giving is an annual celebration that the Thespian Troop does to join in the spirit of Thanksgiving. But Troops Giving isn't just a pre-Thanksgiving celebration. It is also a team-building experience before one of their more rigorous competitions of the year, individual events. During the festivities of the Troop, they did their secret Santa pickings in preparation for their Christmas celebration. To me, Troops Giving is really what makes us more than just a group of performers. <laughs> troops giving to me is what really brings us all together as a family and really makes our troops something special. No! No! What about your grandmother's Christmas week? Flush every year. Troops giving is one of my favorite events. I started when I first started uh, teaching here three years ago. And Troops Giving uh, started because I had a Friendsgiving and I, I would usually have a uh, get together with my family obviously every year. And I would get together and share all these like great moments with my family at first, you know. And then when I created a group of friends, we had a Friendsgiving and then I had another group of friends. We did another Friendsgiving. And then I said, you know what, I love my students too, like they're awesome. Why am I not doing a Thanksgiving event with them? And then so I asked students, would you be interested in doing something like that? They're like, yes, that's awesome. Why wait till banquet to pig out and have fun and eat and stuff and enjoy each other's company. And so we started doing that. My favorite part of Troops Giving is uh, seeing people come up and, and give thanks for things that, uh, that we don't have and just grateful for the things we have so far and we're not even done with a complete year so it's good to see that the kids are already grateful for things. And, um, and it, it, I love the whole experience in general though, like that's my favorite part but I love seeing the performances right before competition and seeing where they're at and seeing you know what I need to work on still, um, if anything. And, and not just the food. We, I love picking out. My least favorite part is cleaning up, but. Thanksgiving is a time to spend with family and loved ones. For the baby bugs, they got to spend it with their classmates. Let's go to Priscilla with the story. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, Mrs. Rodriguez and her child care students hosted a Thanksgiving feast for the little bugs. 
Today the children are enjoying a Thanksgiving feast provided by each one of their parents. Everybody signed up to bring in meats, veggies, fruits, mac and cheese, dessert. Um, we do this every year. Basically we celebrate every holiday here in the preschool just so that the children understand the importance of seasonal events and why they take place. After the little bucks enjoyed their food, to continue their festivities, they created hand turkeys and said a few things they are thankful for. Thankful for? To eat. Is there anything else you're thankful for? To eat my food. That's it? Yeah. Can you name me four things you're thankful for? My mom, my dad, my dogs, my brother and sister, and my friends. My mommy and my daddy. Yeah, a new Captain America toy. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, what else? And my Thor, because she's new now. For Riptide, I'm Priscilla Perales. Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and everyone's preparing themselves for their family feast. Friends and family come together to be thankful for what they have in their lives. We want to see what students are thankful for in their lives. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for being able to spend time with my family this Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Well, I'm thankful for my mom, my family. My family, my gains, you know what I'm saying? Ruff, ruff, ruff. I'm thankful for my family and my friends. Uh, I'm thankful for my family. You know, I have a uh, house, I got food on the table, that's about it. Um, I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for waking up another day, being able to see everybody. So, so I'm thankful for my family, my friends, uh, the food my parents put in my in the dinner table. I'm thankful for you know my mom, for my education, and yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, and and you too. You're, you're sexy. My dad. Your yeah, sister my sister. Is. Um, I'm thankful for my friends and family and all the people that have supported me throughout my life to get here. Um, for family, for food, and for friends. Uh, I'm thankful for being healthy. Uh, I'm thankful for having all my family members and everybody being safe and being blessed. That's all for this week's episode of Riptide. If you want to watch any previous episodes, check out BugTV.org. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at SDBugTV. And while you're at it, like us on Facebook. That's it for today, Bucks. I'm Brianna. I'm Jarelis. Enjoy, Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes! Yes! Ah! Ow! <laughs>